That's what happens. He eats you. Wow. I actually got a record saving two damsels. That's kind of sad. Alright, so let's uh, keep, keep going. Alright, same goal again. Get as much money as we possibly can before we meet the Tunnel Man at the, jung bleh, the jungle entrance. And we'll see if we can get further than that. Preferably been not being terrible, but we'll see. I, I clearly don't have a good track record already. I'm just look, look, ooh, there's a giant spider there. Actually, this might be a good opportunity to kill one with the whip. Um, oh, but how am I going to activate him? Uh, can I hit him through? Not quite. I would like... Uh, cause I would get him crawling through this little passage here, and he wouldn't be able to do anything about it, really. Eh, I'm just going to blow him up. <laughs> I'm just going to blow him up. Blast that spider. He's also full of gems for some reason. High mineral diet. Sorry, I had a cough. It's gonna keep happening. I'll figure out something to do about that. Well, that really shouldn't have worked out, but I'm glad it did. I was trying to do a flip hang, but I was holding run again. Yup. <laughs> hey there, spider. Would you please impale yourself? Thank you. Bat. Splat. You can whip bats through the walls because they kind of press up against them. But the spider wasn't doing that, so that's why I couldn't. God, the music's just gonna go quiet every time I need to do that. Uh, I don't like this. There you go. Resourcefulness. Alright, huh? I think it is. The compass points to the level's exit from wherever you are. So that's kind of nice. It's not something I would ever buy, but it's a good thing to have. Especially if you're going for, like, a speed record, because then you'll know exactly where to aim for. Ooh, I should get the key if I can, because that will help us find gems and so forth. Uh, I don't think one gold bar is worth one rope exactly. Then again, it's going to put us that much closer. Ah, screw it. Rope. Give me that gold bar. If I wasn't so sure that I would be unlikely to use all four ropes, I might be more concerned. Okay. Yeah, it's wise to open jars, because they don't always contain useful things, but they often do. Like, sometimes they have little treasures, sometimes they have bigger ones. And gems can come out of them too, and gems are really nice. Alright, so like, hmm. I want that gold bar. And this will also break some of those gold bricks. Yeah, see? There's the nuggets. We got some nugs. Got some nugs. Like chicken nuggets, but valuable. And not terrible for your intestinal tract. I guess it depends on your chicken nugs. Not all nugs are going to affect you adversely. I should have seen that coming. Oh. More gems. Oh, but I only have two sticky bombs. I don't exactly have a luxurious amount of bombs to work with here. Let me hop, 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 hop. Get out of here, bat. Push this hard enough to, yeah, get that crate. More ropes. Uh, I guess that's nice. Hmm. Oh, I can't get out anyway. All right, no, it's fine. Up, oh, oh, catch the rope. Ropes are a little harder to catch than ladders because they're not as wide. Like you'll kind of snap to the ladder as long as you're holding up at the right moment. But ropes are finicky. Oh, my damsel died. She fell on the spikes when I wasn't looking. That's really unfortunate. Um, there's a bat here. It's okay. No need to panic. We've got a little bit more time before the ghost arrives. Oh, but I could show you what he does. As far as like making money goes. All right, yeah. If I think, I think if I stand right here, or maybe a little closer, I'm gonna wait right here and hope that the ghost shows up on the right side of the screen. Come on, ghost. Where are you? I'm gonna show the viewer what you do. All right here he comes. Now watch what happens when he touches that red gem. See? Turns into a diamond. Those are worth a lot, but getting them and navigating around the ghost, whole thing, so 
Use caution. Use caution. Okay, uh, I have so many ropes. I think I do want that gold bar. I said it was worth it before. It's only, well, it's 500. That's not too bad. I'd really like some bombs. What level are we on? Level 3. So we're not quite there yet. It's next stage is when we're going to be encountering the Tunnel Man at the end. So let's just hold on to our stuff for now. Okay. I do need to be mindful. There are things out here that can kill me instantly. Oh boy. Um. Spider. Oof. I don't like situations like that. Yeah, it's risky. But I successfully navigate it around. Got a girl. She'll prolong our life as long as we prolong hers. Okay, that's safe. Pot. The pot. What's in the box? Uh, is it worth a bomb? Mm, probably not. I would rather save my two bombs for more guaranteed gains. Can get in there though, with a rope. We have plenty of ropes. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm using another one. That was a lot more worthwhile, eh? Um, and if I put a bomb there, I can get up top. All right, yeah. Uh, that's the bomb. Oh, oops, stickies. That's all right. That that works just fine. Because I should be able to jump high enough from my rope. I should be able to jump high enough from my rope. Eh, eh, I already spent a bomb, dang it. Get up there, Spunky Man. Okay. Gem. Gold file. Screw it. Ooh, that was a worthwhile chest. Couple of pots. Set them down carefully. Alright, let's leave before the ghost gets here. Don't want to mess with that guy. Got a tiny pile of cash, though. Look at us. 50k. Just gotta get through this stage. Um, There could be a thing over here. Hold on. Safely flip hang into the spikes. Dash over these ones. Okay, no, there was nothing worthwhile. But it was worth it to check. That's not true, but it's good practice. That's not necessarily true. It depends on your goals. Skelly! No. We want to give the Tunnel Man. Like, this is half of what he asked for in the first place. That's pretty darn good. We're not gambling today. Okay, uh, bat. Pop. Break. Take these. Take that. That's the critical path. So what else can we get? Girl. Oh, the critical path was winding way around. Like, uh, this room we're in right now is actually not a critical path room, but there was no floor to it because of how the RNG went. So there were more than one path to the exit, and we can actually explore a little more effectively, too. Yeah, did you think I was gonna get arrow trapped there? Eh. Okay, yeah, let's go around and get some more money. Get some more money. And then we'll tr find a good place to use this last bomb. higher here, but it's kind of risky. Kind of risky. Corner jumps are a little easier to do with momentum, but I don't trust me. Yee. We're fine. <laughs> I don't even know if there's anything up there worth getting, really. <laughs> I'm just curious. Gotta be, gotta be, gotta be a little curious. 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 There is this big old pile of money in the wall. I guess you could get that. Alright, since we came up here anyway, I'll put my last bomb right here, and that should get us some cash. Hopefully it doesn't destroy the shop blocks. Yeah, no, we're good. There. It's about the most gold we could hope for out of that bomb, I think. 1700? That really ain't bad. Get out. Before the ghost ruins your life by ending it. Hey there, Tunnel Man. 
65,900. Hey, look, we've got it. One shortcut coming up. Now we're back in the jungle. With no bombs. Be careful. I hate you, caveman. That's a fire froge. They explode. It's gonna explode. My phone is going off. Thank you, caveman, for demonstrating what happens with that. Uh, here's, like, a monkey pit. You can usually just lure the monkeys into the pit. One important thing to note about how momentum works in this game is it kind of preserves your momentum whenever you approach the vine. So, if you approach the vine on a run, you'll continue to have running speed whenever you leave the vines. So that's kind of super nice. But my goal right now, especially since we just got this tunnel man, is to get to the next zone. So we just want to get out of here with our life intact. That's basically it. Just go, go, go. That box is tempting. Oh, frog. I'll take the free money. You can have the rock frog. I don't want... Ow. Bad. Oh, boy. Spear traps. That's how I'm poking at this, this jar. Alright, hold on. Okay. Anything worthwhile in this box? More bombs. Good. Just in time. Anything... Uh, oh, wrong button. It's this button is the one I set for bombs. I want to see what's written in that box. More bombs. Even more. Oh. Okay. Five complete. Three more to go with one HP, and it's a dark level. Nice. Haha. <laughs> Here, rushing waters. There's going to be more puddles. Uh, go away, monkey. No, no. Well, at least he died, I guess. Fortunately, the cavemen don't jump anymore whenever they are already running. Okay. Um. Okay, no, we're good. Nice try, frog! <laughs> Phew. Just making sure there are no monsters in there. Okay, so we're near the exit. There it is. Ugh, get me out of here. There's more to the rushing water stages than what we've seen, but I'm not going in that puddle with one HP. There will be more in the future, I am sure. Hey there, Kali. Anybody nearby we can offer you up to you? Doesn't look like it. I hear a damsel, but I kind of need the health more than I need the sacrifices. You better believe the damsels are worth the most of sacrifices. Oh. The Jedi. Break my fall, frog. Let's see if we can find the black market. The black market's kind of a freebie stage, too, because it's a lot easier to get out of. It's decidedly less hazardous. And thanks, Frog. Thanks for that, bro. Okay, we got a kill circuit though, but here, this is where, what the Tunnel Man does for you. Now, we can start from level 5. And that helps you get more practice with the things. You would think I don't really need the practice, and you would be right, but this does also put us closer to our goal. Because, see, the Tunnel Man will not appear at the next juncture unless we've already been there once, so we should prioritize getting to that juncture. So we can start the next shortcut. Geronimo! You can squish Pranos only if they are close enough to the surface for that maneuver. Otherwise, you're kind of out of luck. Hello, Manning Plant. It's called a Man Trap. They are always fatal. So don't let him get you. I would like to save this lady. Um, I might be able to. Let me just... Oh, I think that's gonna kill her. Oh, she's gonna die. I'm sorry, lady. I'm sorry! I'm sorry. She looks alive, but she's totally dead. <laughs> I placed the bomb badly. That's okay, maybe there's a Cali ulta around. Dead damsels aren't worth as much as alive damsels, but they're still worth something. Alright, I don't have sticky bombs. 
The spiders had me spoiled. I see those spikes there. Let me just safely. Bomb. Collie! Whoop. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to desecrate you on the spikes there, honey. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I don't want to throw her at that thing either. Just in case. I can still get some use out of her. That sounds so awful to say. <laughs> but if there are no Kali altars, then there's no use. Let's do a caveman. That little cry they make is not uh, circumstantial. You see, that one that jumped noticed me, but his buddy also noticed because he heard the guy. That's how that do. Cavemen can alert each other. <laughs> My only kill was the girl. <laughs> oh, criminy. Uh, let's just move on with our lives. Now then. Um, oh, hey. We can try again. There's always more damsels. Always more damsels. Let's see. Um, there's a... There's an exit, we should just go for it, man. Hey there, Fire Frog. Goodbye, Fire Frog. It still counted as a kill, even though he didn't explode. The way Caveman Eyesight works is also kind of weird. It's You can't see it because it's an invisible sprite, but basically they have um, a projectile of sorts shooting out of their faces at all times, and if one of those collides with you, it, it alerts the Caveman. I think they only fire one at a time, or and to, like whenever it hits a wall or another obstacle, then they fire another one. So sometimes they don't notice you right away, which kind of makes them a little bit derpy. But it, I, I actually like it that way. It's a little nicer than just pure line of sight. Like if you're in their cone of vision, they've got you. It's only likely that they've got you. And I shouldn't say cone of vision because it really isn't. It's a straight line. They fly like horizontally out of them. Run. Meet Caveman. Oh. Bonk. Did I hear a girl? I thought I heard a girl. Eh, if I did, I don't know where she is.